I'm thinking about starting a new series called Recumbent Reviews. It has a ring to it. But probably not going to work so well. So uh, why am I sitting here? Well, I'm sitting here because I've been thinking about the, the play of patrol by the uh, play-by-poll method, and it really hasn't been that much fun. I don't know if it's been fun for you, it hasn't been much fun for me. And uh, so I'm going to try and wrap that little scenario up so that we can find a, a more suitable uh, game to play that will perhaps be a little bit more engaging. I'm, I'm finding the mechanics and the, the game itself, the, the way it plays, the rules are very simple and straightforward, but they're just kind of bland. And uh, it's very clear, clearly a, a 70s a 70s game, and it might be uh, it might be worthwhile to perhaps look at Raid or one of those other titles and see if if they make any sense. I, I don't know. We can we can do that. But let me let me tell you what's happened uh, since our last update. The last update we had the MG unit, I believe, and one other incapacitated that got caught in the open by the Soviets who had. Uh, gone through their exercise of trying to shoot and were successful, very successful as we found out that uh, that uh, damage uh, was uh, nasty. And I think I actually made a mistake in that uh, fire combat because when, you, when you're when you moving and you're shot at, uh, you, the defensive bonus is different than if you're uh, stationary. End result would have been the same because we rolled a one, I believe, for the, to hit, so he was going to be incapacitated no matter what. Well, so beginning of the next turn, uh, I've now uh, provided a set of orders for both sides and executed those orders. And if we recall, we had voted on a poll that said, hey, let's try and grab those incapacitated guys and carry them off the map because they're worth VPs if they're carried off. And it doesn't cost you VPs if you, uh, if you get them off the board. If you leave them on the board, it costs you VPs. So we gave orders to do that. Uh, the Soviets gave orders to uh, get cranking on uh, moving across the board, but we're going to stay in overwatch and fire mode to try and shoot at anyone trying to come and do some rescuing. Well, uh, long story short is that the, uh, the MG unit by the, of, the, of the Soviets fired at the incapacitated guys and killed them, which kind of left the, uh, the other chaps sitting wondering what to do, they've got to move now, because it's all simultaneous, they've got to move into that uh, empty hex. So probably in a lot of trouble there. But unfortunately, some of the Soviets uh, panicked uh, from some of the return fire that uh, occurred that turn. They are all over the place, uh, spread, <laughs> spread uh, uh, far and wide, and one uh, Soviet unit has been incapacitated as well. So that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the current status of the the game turn. I might play one more turn just to see what happens. Uh, current, I don't see how the the Bundeswehr can win this particular scenario at this point, but um, you know we'll have a look at it just to make sure that, that is the case. So that's kind of a quick update on what's going on with patrol in the play by uh, play by poll uh, world. Everything else is packed up except for Panzer, which has just a couple of turns to go. I need to build a couple of tables before I can move on to our next project. And once we've done that, we'll, uh, we'll start talking about what's next. Uh, in the meantime, I'll probably find some uh, smaller stuff to play, uh, maybe a, a couple of East, uh, East Front titles to fill in some gaps for the, uh, the walk-through time of the chrono chronological uh, walk-through of World War II. Later.